<laughs> Chris in Boston asks, James and Shane, I've been watching 98 ECW, and since the minute uh, Tanaka, so I'm presuming Pat Tanaka, popped up, dude was awesome. He fought the triple threat in September. What was it like? The crowd loved him, and he never talked. Loved the show. Masato Tanaka. Oh, I'm um, sorry. I thought it was Pat Tanaka. Do apologize. <laughs> Yeah, boy. You, again, you were just talking about tough, right? Uh, you go back and watch those chair shots that he was taking from uh, Mike Awesome, who was a big guy. Um, I just told the story the other day. So small, small. What was it? Was it Chris from Boston? Chris from Boston, I believe. Yeah, I'll double check. Chris in Boston. Yeah, I was just talking about this the other day. So it's sort of a uh, you know uh, odd small role that it came up. Um, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. ECW, uh, the David O. Lawrence Convention Center. We had four or five shows downtown there in Pittsburgh. Running shows in general Pittsburgh proper suck because there's a 10% amusement tax right off the top, off the gross. Uh, but we hadn't yet gotten into the dome and we're in the David O. Lawrence Convention Center. I am booked in the main event with Masato Tanaka. Pittsburgh allowed Paul the inverse universe of booking. He booked matches that wouldn't work elsewhere. And uh, my trainer, Dominic Danucci, was there. Uh, the only time I remember coming to an ECW show. And he was sitting out there watching the whole show. And, you know, Dominic was very reserved, you know, wouldn't so, you know, say a whole lot. But I could see his wheels turn watching. As Tanaka's has gone to the ring and Dominic comes over and grabs my arm. And he said, uh, I don't mind telling you, you have a lot of pressure. You have to save this show. Uh, you know, from his point of view, from his his vernacular, his philosophy on the business was just, you know, it hadn't been much wrestling and everything, anything. And I had never wrestled Tanaka before. So most guys said about Bob Holly earlier, uh, you know, we're in the ring and we're filling each other out and we're pushing each other. And it's almost in my head, like I know my trainer's watching and we, we've got to you know keep this going. So I was pushing pretty hard and he was pushing back pretty hard. We had an incredible 20 minute series of chaining. Uh, which, first of all, proved to be just how good Tanaka was. He knew his way around the ring. And uh, we came back from the ring, and Dominic had already grabbed Tanaka and came back before me. And I come back, and he grabs me by the arm, and I'm thinking, oh, and we screwed up. We didn't do it right. And, uh, you know, Tanaka didn't speak a whole lot of English. So, uh, you know, I, I, he would – you know, like shake his head and stuff. He was not really hearing or understanding. Uh, and Dominic said, uh, you two saved the show. And it was the first time Dominic ever gave me like that. It wasn't like Dominic was mean or off-putting. He just didn't throw a lot of compliments. He wanted you to keep working harder and harder. And uh, and I later had translated like, you know, as best I could to, 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 to Tanaka and Tanaka went back to Dominic and, you know, shaking his hand and bowing to him. You know, he respected Dominic. And, uh, yeah, Masato Tanaka was tough. I just saw him a couple of years, well, a couple of years ago, four or five years ago in Australia. Uh, phenomenal shape. He got into himself. Not that he was in bad shape before. Before, he was just thicker. Now, lean, cut, uh, and still working uh, pretty much full-time. Uh, just one of those guys that A, you love to work with because he was so good uh, and could go. Uh, you enjoyed being around him because he was, you know, just a, like a good guy. Um, and, you know, I thought he brought a special element to ECW, something that ECW hadn't seen prior. You know, we'd seen the luchadors before. We'd had the, the hardcore and we had the chainers and we had the flyers. Uh, but uh, Tanaka had brought something, uh, you know, that the whole mystique and uh, crispness of Japanese wrestling. And I, I thought it really helped elevate ECW. He was a definite asset for us. So I appreciate the question. And there's me thinking, no way did Pat Tanaka have a nice little run in ECW in 98 <laughs> as well. 